I'm going to a Charlotte Tilbury event. It's actually my first beauty event, so that's exciting. Whoa. <laughs> and it's kind of spicy. I feel like it came out pretty cute. I like it. It is hot. It is hot, hot. These are just the ones that, oh, sorry, I'm on my phone. But these are just the ones that I keep in the car for when I forget mine. But as you guys can see, I started off my morning with some hot work. So pretty much it's just like workouts and a sauna. Today I just did two 15 minute sessions, the cycle and the rowing. My arms are definitely the weakest part on me. So that rowing took me out. Yeah, but usually I like to go there and I do like hot yoga or hot Pilates, which are 40 minute sessions. But I did that a lot. I think it was the week before and I was so sore. So today I just decided to do the cycling and the rowing. But yeah, I honestly just figured that I would just start vlogging. I feel like I never vlog, like do weekly vlogs because I feel like I don't do much. And my nose is sweating. I'm still hot. But yeah, I just feel like I didn't do much. I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna put together little pieces of my week clip it together see how it looks so yeah at least try you know but right now I'm going back home I want to return some Amazon packages it's actually workout clothes that I bought on Amazon but they're too big of course right now I'm starting to buy more workout clothes because I got a gym membership there I don't know gym membership but i got a membership at hot works so i need more workout clothes the one i'm wearing today is from Shein. but yeah i'll catch up with you guys later i'm gonna go get these packages and we're gonna drop them off at the post office i feel like my camera is so crooked but pretty much all i just did is i finished um so i came home took a shower and we're about to go to sephora and drop off those packages to amazon no i'm returning packages from amazon at ups but I also want to go to Sephora and I kind of want to do like a TikTok about going to Sephora. I don't know, I've just been really liking to create random TikToks. But all I did was I did a little bit of the e.l.f. brow lift to kind of put my brows in place. And then I went in, I think it was my e.l.f. Yeah, my e.l.f. brow pencil, this one. Then all I did was put my Sephora Micro Smooth powder. Look, my glasses make me talk weird. But this one, which is all beat up, I just put it on my powder puff and I put it underneath my eyes. And then all I did was I took my Juvia's Place bronzer palette and I put some bronzer on and I feel like it looks very decent. Like I didn't want to put on makeup makeup because I really want it to be quick. But I feel like this really just made me look put together. And then I'm wearing my Fenty gloss balm. But yeah, I don't know. I'm like surprised because I kind of like it. I really didn't do the most, but I think it's like good for running errands. But I want to pick out some sunglasses really quick. Um, so that's really why I came on camera. Let me set you guys down. I need to clean off my desk because I have makeup and hair supplies and everything all on it. I think I'm between these three. So we have the sunglasses I got in Sweden, my Tom Ford's. I just like these as like a really natural, not natural, but really simple everyday sunglasses. I'm trying to look at what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my really comfy pants from Revolve, white bodysuit and my black sandals. So we have those, or we have my favorite Amazon pair. And I also like these for daytime because you can see through them. It's still like bright outside. I don't know if I'm feeling these today, but these, mm, I really like these, but not today. Or I have my other Amazon pair, um, kind of like the Versace dupe. I could wear these. And I like how they have the gold on the side. Honestly, I think I'm feeling the first pair for today. It's between those or these. I think I'm gonna go with these. Okay, so did that. 
I need to go put the packages in the car or make sure to get those packages so I don't leave them. And we can probably drop them off after we go to Sephora. So Sephora, and then I wanna go to like a Walgreens or CVS. I want some more press on nails for tomorrow. I didn't even tell you guys tomorrow. I'm going to a Charlotte Tilbury event. So I got invited to, I guess they're having like um, an event for their, what's it called? I forgot the name of the lipstick they're coming out with or that they just launched. But I got an email that they have an event in Austin tomorrow at Soho House. So I was like, yeah, I'll go to that. It's actually my first beauty event, so that's exciting. But yeah, I wanna get some press on nails because my nails are just, ugh, I don't like that. So yeah, Sephora, then like uh, Walgreens, CVS, and then return our packages. Let's go. One thing I really need to get is a car mount. <laughs> you guys right now are like barely sitting on the small dash I have. I don't know why. See, I'm turning. But my car doesn't really have a dash. It's just kind of like window and then <laughs> everything else. Okay, hopefully I'll stay. I'm drinking this Suja. I think, I don't know how you pronounce this, but this brand, they sent me a big box of a bunch of their juices and shots, like their healthy shots, like ginger shots, energy shots, coffee shots. And they definitely do taste healthy. <laughs> uh because they are like healthy natural drinks but i kind of like it this one i'm drinking is actually pretty good but this one's pretty good i had another one that was red and i think that one has like more fruit instead of vegetables that one was good too and then i had my first one it was a green juice mm, i took like a couple sips and it's still in the fridge that one definitely tastes like straight up vegetables. But yeah, I've been like really starting to try these since they sent me the box and since I've recently started going to Hot Works and working out. So we'll see. I want to try one of the ginger shots. I feel like that one's going to be <laughs> very interesting. But yeah, since I was just sipping this, I thought I would update you guys on it. But right now we're just still on our way to Sephora. Okay, this one is their Vibrant Probiotic. It has purified water, strawberry, raspberry, lemon, and honey. So, has a bunch of tasty stuff in this one. Let's go to Sephora. So I've really been wanting a new setting spray. Right now I kind of have my eyes on the one size Until Dawn and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. I think that's the name of it. I asked you guys on my Instagram story, what's y'all's favorite setting spray? And it looks like those two are winning right now. I really need the setting spray to be good for oily skin in this Texas heat. So let's go ahead and see what they have. Honestly, I don't know how I've gone so long in this Texas heat without a good setting spray. So this whole Sephora run is long overdue. First things first, we went to Charlotte Tilbury. This actually is isn't my first time trying to get the setting spray. It's just always sold out. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Next, I picked up the One Size Until Dawn setting spray. I've had this spray before, but I feel like I didn't really give it a chance. So we're back for round two. I also want to pick up the Secure the Blur primer, but they were sold out in store and online. And of course, it's never really a true Sephora run if you didn't leave with something that wasn't originally on your list. So let's go ahead and do a haul. Okay, I'm back in the car, so let's do a haul. So I did get the One Size Until Dawn setting spray. I want to get the Secure, the sweat primer i think it is but they're out of stock in store and online then i also got the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray so i think i want to try these two together and then of course i was just looking around can you believe i've never tried the rare beauty liquid blushes so i picked this one up in the shade happy it's kind of like a lighter pink because there was one that was really hot pink but i have a blush like that so i got this one instead and then i was just looking at the scents and i decided to pick up this nest golden nectar this is one of their travel size perfumes but that's pretty much all that i got i would say that this was a successful sephora haul it's crazy those four things was like 120 dollars. i mean they should be worth it i'm really excited to use those setting sprays because it is literally hot outside right now i was about to look at my phone i'm recording but i think it's like 100 degrees so we'll see how those setting sprays really last okay so as y'all just saw from the tiktok that i inserted we just finished from sephora i ended up getting a couple extra things so i got the one size and charlotte tilbury setting sprays which i went in there to get i also want to get the one size secure the sweat primer i've heard really good things about that but unfortunately it was sold out online and in store so i'll just have to wait till that comes back in stock and then i picked up the rare beauty blush which i've never tried the rare beauty liquid blush before which i feel like is crazy i feel like literally everyone uses that blush so we're gonna see how i like it um we'll see i think i'm gonna try it out tomorrow i don't know if i should be doing a first impression tomorrow for the charlotte tilbury event but i'm already going to do a first impression with the two setting sprays well i've used the one size setting spray before but i feel like i didn't really 
try it out as well as I should have. But yeah, so we're gonna do a first impression with that. And then I also picked up just like a mini travel size perfume because honestly, I'm running low. So we'll kind of like test that one out and see how I really like it. But yeah, right now I think I wanna stop at CVS or Walgreens, whichever one I see first and look at some press on nails and then we gotta return those packages. I don't know why, but I hate returning packages. It's not even that big of a deal, but <laughs> I would just rather not do it. So yeah, I'll catch you guys then. They have a terrible selection. <laughs> These are kind of pretty though. I think I'm gonna get these. <laughs> Not what I came for, but are these cute? Mm -hmm. I said they didn't have much of a selection, but I still ended up getting just the basic, can you guys see that, pink pair? When I get press ones, I don't really want a design. It's either just like French tip or just like these pink ones. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just stick to simple pink ones, file them down, they look cute. And then I didn't expect to get any lashes, but I just saw these and I thought that they were really cute. These are from Kiss. I don't know. And I've been wanting a pair of lashes too, so we'll see how that works. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> You're beautiful. And then they're gonna be on the same receipt. Okay, cool. So much. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. It is so hot outside. Oh my gosh. If I can put the key in. But yeah, it is so hot, my goodness. I just finished dropping off my packages to UPS. And when I was at Sephora and at Walgreens checking out, both the cashiers said that they liked my bag. The cashier at Sephora was a girl and the cashier at Walgreens was a guy. And they both said that they liked my bag. I was like, oh, thanks, that's nice. Um, but yeah, this is my coach pillow tabby. I really don't wear it a whole lot, but it is cute. I was like, they got me looking at it. Like, I guess, you know what, it is kind of cute. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it for today. I'm gonna go home and, oh no, I'm gonna wash my hair. So tomorrow I'm wearing my U part. I just posted the U part tutorial on Sunday, which was yesterday. I'm gonna do my hair like that for the event tomorrow, but my leave out is just like weighed down with like product and moisturizer and oil. So I'm just gonna wash my whole head of hair. It needs to be washed anyways. So I like to wash my hair once a week. So I'm gonna wash my hair, deep condition, clean up, start editing this vlog. And I feel like that's it. I'm trying to debate if I wanna do another hot work session today. I could maybe do like yoga or Pilates, or I can see if the girls wanna play tennis. Cause it's only 327. So yeah, we'll see. Hey everyone, it is the next day. So didn't really do much yesterday after running errands. And now it's Tuesday. I went ahead and I put on my press on nails. Oh, yesterday I also washed my hair. So we're about to do my hair. But I just put on my press on nails. I need to clean them up a little bit after filing. But yeah, I just think that filing them square makes them look a lot better to me personally. But I'm in the process of getting ready for the event. I just kind of want to start early so I can really just take my time and film. Cause I want to film like a TikTok get ready with me and like an outfit of the day, things like that. So right now I'm just gonna start doing my hair. I feel like that's the only part I'm gonna film on this vlog. I'm just gonna fast forward through this process. So my hair is just like freshly air dried. Haven't done anything to it. So I need to straighten my leave out and then curl my hair together. I'm trying to decide if I want to do pin curls or if I want to use the velcro rollers i think i'm going to do the velcro rollers towards the top and then the pin curls everywhere else i don't know let's just get this process started your intuition has been telling you things that you never knew Rubbish photos with bitches I used to put on pedestals But still I keep it professional Laying in the bed and you acting like I can't even touch you I don't know why you do that Shower with the door open while you do that Drop the towel right in front of me and cruise Oh no baby, fuck me baby Say it to me straight, did I make a mistake? And I can't concentrate while you standing 
living there naked. Okay, so this is how the hair turned out. You know what, I actually think it's gonna come out good, but we will see because I really just did random pins and Velcro rollers and things like that. And this one, this one's looking falling. Let me actually pin that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just talking about how I think it's gonna come out good and they're falling. But um, yeah, so that's hair. Now I'm gonna move on to makeup. I'm actually going to film a TikTok. So make sure you guys are following me on TikTok because pretty much everything we've done in this vlog is already live on TikTok. But of course this vlog is gonna come out like at the end of the week. So if you guys wanna stay up to date with me like in real time and actually participate in polls and things like that, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. More so TikTok, I just think that's more fun. But yeah, I'm going to film my makeup. I'm going to do like a get ready with me for like my first beauty event it's gonna be like a voiceover for tiktok yeah i really actually i don't know how i want to do my makeup like as far as my eyeshadow you guys know i never really wear eyeshadow but i want a little something today let me look at some inspo let me look at my saved folder on instagram my makeup saved folder i'll screen record so you guys can see what i'm seeing let's see this is cute i like that but so I'm wearing like black and gold. My dress is black and I just have gold accessories. So I don't really want to do color. I could do this, but maybe like a gold shimmer on the lid. But I don't really want a gold shimmer. I kind of want it to be matte. Mm, this is pretty. Like just this. I, oh, I can't zoom in on that. But just that one right there. It's pink. But what if I just did neutral? I'm trying to find inspo so I know exactly what I want to do. Dang, these are really old pictures. I haven't saved anything in here in a minute. I really like this girl here in the pink. Can you see her face? Right there. But instead of doing like a pink lid, maybe just a neutral lid. Just stay tuned and we'll see how everything comes out. Get ready with me for a Charlotte Tilbury beauty event. First things first is eyebrows. I honestly don't see how people do it any other way. But then today I also decided to do a little bit of eyeshadow. This was actually my first ever beauty event. So I didn't really know what to expect, but I knew that I wanted to look cute. So of course I had to go with my favorite Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. The day before I went to Sephora for some new pickups. One of them being the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Study spray and of course I had to pick up a rare beauty liquid blush in the shade happy I can't believe that was my first time trying both of those products but honestly so far so good I use a setting spray to blend out my foundation and cream products and I feel like the liquid blush was a perfect base for my powder blush I set all the cream and liquid products with my favorite one size blurring powder and then it was time to bronze up the skin a little bit I really think that bronzer and blush is my favorite steps in my makeup process because it really just brings that overall glow and warmth to your face in my opinion no look is complete without last so I popped those on, threw on a liner and a gloss, and now it's time to take out this hair. I did a mixture of Velcro rollers and pin curls. This is how the hair turned out, super cute. Then my last Sephora pickup was the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray, and this one was no joke. But overall, this is how the final look came out. Stay tuned if you wanna see the vlog from the actual event. Okay guys, this is the final look. I think it honestly came together pretty well. This lash is kind of getting on my nerves, but it's time for me to go. I need to head out. They actually gave us coats so that we could call it Uber, so I'm call it uber instead of driving down there so yeah the uber's probably gonna be here soon and i guess i'll catch you guys when we get there
honestly don't know how my camera is staying up right now and I feel like I'm super close. But hey everyone, it is Thursday morning. I did not vlog at all yesterday. Pretty much all I did was clean and edit. Yeah, that's it. So I haven't talked to y'all since the Charlotte Tilbury event. We're gonna go home later on and I'll show you guys what I got in my gift bag and all of that. But like I said, it's Thursday morning. I'm back at Hotworks. I'm doing a Pilates session today and I figured I would try one of these ginger shots before I went in. It's like, let me get my water ready because I have a feeling that this is gonna be really nasty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, doing pull up. Ah! See, that's why I should not put my camera right here, but it's okay. I'm really trying to shake this up because when I got out the fridge, it was separated and everything was at the bottom. It's 9.37, my class is at 9.45. Just stay for a second. Ugh, I feel like this is gonna be bad. I don't really like ginger like that anyway, so. It smells like ginger and like orange juice. The smell isn't that bad. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> whoa i don't know why i'm saying whoa i never say whoa but that was a whoa dang okay so it's really not that bad it definitely has like a little oh, like an orange juice type ginger but it's kind of spicy like i shouldn't be talking right now mm. I feel like, yeah, that definitely woke me up. Okay, let's go to Pilates. I just finished Pilates. I was gonna record today, but someone else was in there using my, what is this? Laneige, Laneige, I think it's Laneige um, lip balm. I really like this stuff. But yeah, someone else was in there. So in those rooms, there can be up to three people. And I always like to book my session online so you can see the schedule kind of like when the room is booked so i like to book mine online in advance so i can try to get a room by myself it said that i was the only one who booked it but she was in there i guess she just didn't book it online but she was nice she was another black lady we did pilates together she was telling me how it's nice how she's been seeing more of us like come to hot works and i told her yeah because my friend ariana invited me and then i invited my friend ariane those two names are very similar so now we all go there but yeah it's really nice i don't know i like it because you're kind of like by your yourself or like hopefully with just one other person i don't think i would ever do a session with three people it says that three people can fit but i feel like that's way too cramped especially with something like pilates or yogas when you're stretching out but yeah i am i'm tired i did not feel like going today so i'm happy i did so yeah we'll see i'm not exactly sure what we'll do today but i'll just catch up with you guys later on when i'm doing something Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm at Hotworks. Today I booked a, sorry my phone, but today I booked a cycle class. Also, of course my hair looks different. So last night my mom braided my hair because today I want to install one of my older wigs. Not really install, but really just put it on. Cause I just feel like I've been messing with my hair a lot lately and my leave out. So I just kind of want to like tuck it up, leave it alone. And then so for the gym, cause literally I just have, well this is like a separate headband but I'm wearing a headband wig underneath here you see I just have my hair braided so I just slept on this headband wig this was a lot longer but I recently just cut it because I just wanted something easy and quick to wear to the gym and I just put on this little hair tie when I'm in there but yeah so today I'm actually gonna do everything I said I was gonna do yesterday because yesterday I really didn't do anything today we're doing the two cycle sessions I want to install my wig I actually have a couple pieces of content I want to film let's look at the list okay so our to-do list for today is hot works i'm gonna do my makeup because i need to film this hair install then i need to also film a tiktok for content due monday i want to do my charlotte tilbury unboxing oh yeah i didn't show you guys what i got from the goodie bag and the charlotte tilbury event so i want to show you guys i also want to do a tiktok unboxing so yeah that's pretty much the to-do list for today it's about to be 8 55 my class is at 9 so i'm gonna go ahead and go in if there's no one in there i'll vlog but if not i'll just catch you guys after class starting to feel that warm coming from our core, working from the inside out. I want you to focus on a little bit of twist today in your torso. I want you to lean back, add a little more twist, pull up nice and tall. You're not done yet. You're not allowed to stop moving. Keep going. Keep fighting for it. Push all those negative thoughts away right here. 
Go for it. We are starting a standing climb. There is a hill in front of you. It is going to get heavier. It is going to get tougher as we go on, but you can handle it. This is our hit high intensity interval training. Okay, so we're back. I got home, I showered. It's honestly like two hours later. I am going to start on my makeup, but first I'm going to pop this headband wig back on just for the sake of me vlogging. I don't want to be in my braids like that. So I'm just slapping on this headband wig again. This literally comes in handy. I feel like everyone should have a basic headband wig for days where you just really need to slap something on or if you have braids on like me and you just want to cover it all up and no leave out. So. So I'm just popping this on. I'm gonna have to go get my headband because in order for me to cover my braids with the actual unit, I have to pull it forward and I don't wanna be pulling on my hair like that. So I just use the other headband to kind of cover it. This is what the hair is looking like. I have a spray bottle with just some water and conditioner. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. Just water and conditioner. If I really care, I guess I'll put on some mousse, but since I wear this to the gym, I usually don't care that much. I like the curls on this unit though. This is from Love Me. I'll link everything in this week's vlog in the description box, but I'll be sure to link this unit too. And again, I did cut it. It was like this long, but I feel like when you got towards the ends, it got a little bit thinner. So honestly like how I did cut it. So I'm just gonna start doing my makeup so we can film those videos. So my makeup you guys saw earlier in the week we went to sephora and we got the charlotte tilbury setting spray the one size setting spray and the rare beauty set i'll just say rare beauty setting spray the rare beauty blush so i used those three products for the event on tuesday but i did such a small amount of the blush because i've heard that it's really pigmented and i didn't really use too much so today when i'm doing my makeup i think i want to try to go in with a little bit more and kind of see how it comes out i'm also just doing like really simple kind of quick makeup today but yeah i think i'll come back actually and talk on camera once we get to the blush step i have no idea what happened but when i was setting my nose right here it's like the powder picked up i've like put concealer down redid it literally like two three times Times, and it's still like that. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just filming today. So hopefully it's not that noticeable on camera. Okay, so I'm just gonna sweep off this powder. I really need to figure out why my makeup does that because it only does it on my nose and I have no idea why. Anyway, so I wanna go in with the Rare Beauty blush. I wanna do like two dots today, I think. And honestly, if this comes out bad, I'm just going to redo. <laughs> all of this because I'm not that far in the process. So I just did two dots. This is the shade Happy. When I wore it the other day, it was actually really pretty, but I felt like I could have done more. Two dots going to take fluffy kind of sort of flat brush and I'm just going to, I think it's a really pretty color. I'm going to blend it out. Honestly, I think I like to put blush on my hand first and then stamp it on instead of putting it directly on my skin. And I forgot I wanted to do this before I powdered my face. That will just have to do. I don't like putting cream on top of powder and I did that today and it's low key picking up. I don't know, my makeup is just not coming out the best today. I'm just like all over the place. I should have definitely set after I did my cream blush. It's a really pretty color though. I just know my makeup could look better. Honestly, can I save this makeup look? I think I wanna redo my makeup. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna redo it because I don't like how this is picking up and then my nose. I'm just gonna be back once my makeup's done. So bright, I should probably change my camera settings. But this is how the makeup came out. Simple, I used the lashes that we got um, the other day. The Kiss Naked Drama and the Style Chiffon. Also, I need to fix my nails. I don't know what happened, but these three nails on my right hand, like they all crack. So I have to put those back on. That's actually never happened to me with press on nails. Like they might crack towards like the two week mark, but for them to crack that soon and on three of them on one hand, really weird. But this is my makeup. I washed my wig, so I need to go blow dry that and then I think I can start this video. Okay, so I'm finally about to start installing this wig. I'm actually filming the video right here on my phone, but I figured I'd just let this roll. I'm gonna be looking this way for most of the time, but I guess I can sometimes look this way. I don't know. I'm just gonna let you guys watch this install. I really didn't plan on filming it on the vlog, but since y'all are sitting here, I'm like, I might as well. So let's get into this install. It should be super, super quick. First of all, the actual lace, it's not a lot at all. So this is just really easy. I'm going to actually oil my scalp with my Originals by Africa's Best Olive and Clove Hair and Scalp Therapy um, Oil. You guys know I've talked about this a lot. I actually really like it. 
I'm trying to look for the bottle. Oh yeah, so I have this bottle with the needle tip. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this in here because when I have braids in, my scalp gets so dry and itchy. So this definitely helps. I told you guys about this kind of like tip. What was it, in a relaxer update, something like that? But just how like using this bottle on your braids really helps with some oil. Then I'm just gonna use some of this adhesive spray. This is what it looks like. I think I've used this once before and I'm going to clean up my part with my Tresemme Root Touch Up, apply a little bit of concealer in the middle. And those are the three products I'm gonna use. And of course I'm going to hot comb and strain it. But let's just get this together so I don't have to come on camera in my braids. this wig probably in like over a year it's been honestly a really long time i think it still looks good i really just used a little bit of this lace adhesive i sprayed a little bit on my actual forehead then i sprayed it on my finger and just stuck it down honestly used the wrap that i used to work out today I don't know if that's nasty, but I just needed to wrap real quick. I can wash it, whatever. But yeah, this is how the hair came out. I think it looks pretty good. I really like the layers in it. I've kind of been thinking if I want to cut a little bit more. I didn't cut these. This is how the unit came. I'll leave the link for the unit and the hairstylist down below. But yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I don't know why it took me so long to fill my hair and do my hair, especially since this unit is so simple. I don't know, I've just been moving slow. But I'm about to film the unboxing. I know this bag is empty because I just dumped everything out of the gift bag that I got from the Charlotte Tilbury event. I'm actually going to film that for a TikTok. I think I'm going to film, edit it on my phone real quick and then post it. So I'll probably insert that video because what's the point of doing it twice? Y'all can just see that. But yeah, I feel like they gave me a good amount of product. And then I really don't think I'm going to film <laughs> the rest of the stuff that I said I was going to film today. I don't know. That's just my hair took a long time. And for what reason? Honestly, I feel kind of weird wearing a wig since I haven't worn a wig in such a long time. And you guys know I've been doing you parts a lot lately. So like, I just have to like let it grow on me. Also, I need a better hot comb because I feel like I wasn't able to really get it as flat as I wanted to. I think it still looks good, but I don't know. I just have to like let this grow on me. I'm also not sure how I feel about this lash style. Anyways, I'm going to film that unboxing, insert it, and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. My girlfriend wants to go to brunch since she's about to move to Hawaii soon. I know, Hawaii, that's crazy. So tomorrow I'm going to meet up with her and some of her other friends for brunch. I guess I'll bring you guys along for that. I'm trying to think if I'm going to do anything else today pretty much i'll just see you guys tomorrow let's see what i got earlier this week i went to a charlotte silver event so let's go ahead and do a little unboxing honestly there's kind of a good amount of stuff in here looks like there's mainly lip liners and the new lip blur i don't know why that's kind of a tongue twister for me these are all of the lip liners there's two four six seven lip liner in the shade kiss and tell which is this really pretty kind of like hot orange pinky orange then we have the shade walk of no shame like that pillow talk to medium and we have the shade super size me hollywood honey love trap and last but not least iconic nude okay now let's get into the actual lip blurs first up we have the shade honey blur this is pillow talk blur ruby blur the shade looks really pretty i kind of want to try this one out rose blur pillow talk medium blur nude blur Walk of No Shame Blur. Then we have this one, which is Flame Blur. We have the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And then at the actual event, we were able to pick out a shade and get it engraved. So I chose the shade Honey Blur. I just got mine engraved with All About Ash. I thought this was super cute. That's everything that they gifted us with. Let me know if you guys want a try on of some of the shades. Okay, I'm back and I know I look different. I know the lighting's different. Ignore the lip. I'm just trying out one of those lip blurs. I just want to see what it looks like. But I started taking my little razor and adding more layers into this unit. I feel like I need light. I turned 
all my lights off and my straightener just fell. That light isn't good enough, but whatever. I'm just doing this real quick because I was like, why do I do everything off camera? But I feel like I'm going to create like a little curtain bang situation. Because I don't know, the way the unit was, it was just, it felt too much like a wig to me. So I think I want these to like be more in. Now that I'm doing that, even bangs could be cute, but I'm not going to go that bold. And I think like... I don't know, a curtain bank situation. I'm gonna keep on cutting, finessing, use one of these Velcro rollers, pin my hair up and see. But I'll probably show you guys the final look tomorrow. I'm probably gonna have to refilm that video because I think that this hair is gonna be a lot cuter than that one. But I just want to update you guys because I feel like this could be cute. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It, I will say it's Friday. It is definitely Saturday. I am about to refilm this hair video. But today we're going to cut bangs into it. I'll insert the TikTok I posted yesterday asking if I should do curtain bangs or just normal bangs. Okay, I need y'all's help. I've been playing around with this unit. I cut some more layers into it, as you can see. They're not super even, but as I was bringing it forward, I was like, should I cut some bangs into this? Yes or no? Cut bangs or should I try to create more of like a curtain bang effect? Let me know what I should do. And I don't know, I feel like normal bangs would be really cute with that unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and refilm like that part of the video and then I'll start recording on here when we're actually cutting the bangs. Fingers crossed because I don't have time for this not to work. I'm supposed to be going to brunch at 3 o'clock. It's 12.32. Also, I'm not really sure if I like the way my makeup came out. I feel like lately my makeup just hasn't been my favorite. It's been sitting on top of my skin kind of weird. I don't know. I think I just need to find like a whole new routine. But yeah, so let me go ahead and start filming and then we'll be back once we're cutting the bangs. Okay, I had to go off camera and look in the mirror in the bathroom so I could really see what I was cutting. But honestly, I feel like it came out pretty cute. I like it. I don't know if I could like cut more, but I really don't wanna, I was in there just <laughs> hacking away. So I probably could like thin this out a little bit. So I might take my scissors and thin it out. But for right now, like my first time ever cutting bangs, I think I did a good job. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just got changed. We're just doing like a simple brunch. I'm not wearing what I had planned on wearing because we're not going to that restaurant. But mm, I mainly did this makeup just so I could um, film that video. Honestly, I'm taking it off because I walked outside to get some shoes from my car. It's just way too hot. Like there's literally no reason. And my makeup wasn't even my favorite anyway. So I'm just going to be comfortable. I'm gonna put it on a little bit more. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna do any liquid products, just powder, similar to what I did the other day when I went to Sephora, especially cause my nose sweats so much and it's just gonna like break apart. And that's like a big area that you see on my face. That's like the first thing you see. I'm taking this off, like it's just too hot. Like I don't feel like I'm ugly, so. I don't think it's necessary to wear that makeup, at least right now. And I don't know if they're seating us inside or outside. If we're getting sat outside, there's absolutely no way. I don't even have a makeup remover wipe. Right now I'm using a baby wipe, which let me tell you, does not remove your makeup the same. I'm gonna keep my eyebrows on because my eyebrows don't really melt off. They don't go anywhere. Echo, what time is it? The time is 2.25 p.m. Okay, I was trying to leave at 2.30. I think I'm gonna leave at like 2.35. Trying to get all this around my nose ring. Speaking of my nose ring, I don't know if I want to take it out or not. It's cute. It served its purpose. I just kind of want to see what I would look like with one since I had always wanted it. But honestly, I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to just keep it, but I wouldn't be surprised if also I changed my mind and I decide to take it out soon. My lashes, my mascara, my eyebrows. Keeping all of that on. Okay, quick and simple. Summertime. 
in Texas makeup tutorial. Going in with my Black Girl sunscreen. I don't want to use too much. I love this stuff. It's probably my favorite sunscreen. Rub that in really quickly. And of course, I really like it because there's no white cast. It's actually clear. So yay, we love that. I really would like to give it some time to dry, but I'm trying to go and it's not like this makeup really matters. Like I can fix it when I'm out. Okay, so taking my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Again, if you guys don't have this, get it. And I'm just pressing that underneath my eyes and I'm gonna kind of bring it in a little bit and like reverse contour my nose. Can you guys see the difference? I don't really care if like this comes off of my nose cause it's just powder. And like when I wear sunglasses, my nose sweats and it leaves that mark. But with this, I can instantly touch it up cause I always keep this compact in my purse. So right there, I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my upper lip. Okay, boom. So that's like our foundation. Cool. Taking my bronzer, Julia's Place. I like to mix those two. Hopping this on right there. I guess I don't really have to do my forehead too much because we have bangs. Ooh, I kind of did a lot right there. My bad. Let me even that out a bit. <laughs> this is just going to bring some life to my face. Usually I don't do blush at all with this routine, but I want to do a little bit. But honestly, if you're going to do this, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Just because if it like sweats off, it's not a big deal if you don't have blush because it's not really much color. But I really like the way my blush was looking earlier. So popped on a little bit of that. I'm going to fix my eyebrows real quick. Just really brush them up. Probably need some more gel because they're kind of falling. Fill in the front and fix my tail. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my elf brow lift. I just need some right here at the top since it was falling. Echo, what time is it? It's 2.31 p.m. Okay, I'm trying to leave in four minutes. Brows are a big thing for me. I feel like if my brows don't look good, the whole makeup routine is over. I think that's really it. I'm being a little extra today because usually I would just stop at the powder, brows, and bronzer. But since I had just got done with the full face, it's like I'm missing some stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my nose. Yes, there we go. Right there, pop that back in my inner corner and underneath my brow. I need to leave. And then just let me touch up my lips. This is the Debs lip liner. Honestly, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury lip blur in the shade Honey Blur. This is the one that I got engraved from the event the other day. Mm, actually, I don't want that shade. I want a lighter shade. I think I'm gonna use the shade Pillow Talk. Yeah, I'm gonna use this pink shade like that. Just cause I feel like this will stay longer than um, lip gloss. And these are really comfortable on the lips too. And then once that dries, I'm just gonna put on some of this clear NYX Butter Gloss. So yeah, I think that's gonna be my lip combo today instead of the Fenty Gloss Balm that I had on. And with this look, like just the powder, I feel like when you do lipstick, it makes it look like you're wearing more makeup. Um, so it kind of completes the look. I don't wanna turn this clear gloss pink. So I'm gonna be careful. Okay, that's it. That is it. But yeah, let's go. I'll catch you guys at brunch. Not my bangs looking crazy. <laughs> Wait, do they actually look crazy? Um, why do I feel like they look crazy all of a sudden? Is it because the AC was blowing all the way over here? I gotta get a car mount. I think I'm gonna leave y'all in the car because I don't feel like carrying a lot of stuff. I can't really tell in this lighting. Whatever, I hope it's cute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just vlog on my phone because I don't feel like holding y'all, honestly. I'm so happy I decided to take that makeup off because it is hot. It is hot, hot. But I'm gonna vlog on my camera. No, not my camera. I'm gonna vlog on my phone and I'm gonna leave the camera in the car. So let's go eat because I'm hungry. Back in the trap, I was ducking them people, ducking the birds, sending out the meat.